We're here looking for black bears. Normally, but at this time of year, bears would be in hibernation by now, but during the summer, they'd probably hang out here. They'd like to climb trees. The cubs would play here if a mother brings her, brings her cubs here. And they would also probably go out there to get a drink of water or to look for clams. And like most hibernating bears, they hibernate for about seven months. And when they do, they lose up to half their body weight. They slow their heart rates down to 12 beats a minute and take one breath every minute. Mother black bears might sometimes bring their cubs here. They can practice climbing trees. Also, they could all, the cubs can also use these trees to get away from male black bears because male bears are cannibals. The males will sometimes kill the cubs in order to get the females back into season so that he can mate with her and pass on his genes. Bears rely on their sense of smell more than any other sense. As a matter of fact, bears can smell things 20 miles away. Their sense of smell is seven times better than a bloodhound's. And therefore, 700 million times better than a human's because bloodhounds can smell 100 million times better than we can. And we only have 40 million smell receptors covering an area of two square inches Bears have a billion smell receptors covering an area a hundred times larger than our nose. Even from miles away, they can detect the difference between the oncoming scent of friends and foes. And the best friend to a bear, of course, is another bear. And the worst foe to a bear, of course, is a human. The largest black bear ever recorded was eight feet long, stood eight feet tall on its hind legs, stood four feet tall on all fours, and weighed a ton. You see, I think most bears are about as long as they are tall on their hind legs, so if a black bear was eight feet long, I assumed it would be eight feet tall on its hind legs. The black bear is one of only three bear species in North America, and that is about three-eighths of all bear species in the world. There are eight types of bears worldwide. The polar bear, the brown bear, the American black bear, the Asiatic black bear, the spectacled bear, the sloth bear, the giant panda bear, and the sun bear. The sun bear is the smallest, and the polar bear is the largest. The American black bear actually has two close cousins, the Asiatic black bear and the sloth bear. They all diverged seven million years ago. Probably the only animal that black bears fear are their larger cousins, the brown bears. Brown bears and black bears live alongside each other, and they compete with each other, and brown bears, being the bigger of the two, are probably also the more dominant of the two because Brown bears have been known to kill black bears. A black bear's best defense against a brown bear is to climb up a tree. Brown bears can climb trees too, but not as high and not as well as black bears can because they're bigger and heavier. Believe it or not, a black bear can climb a 110 foot tall tree in just 10 seconds. That's 11 feet per second which is seven and a half miles an hour. That's pretty quick. Black bears have also been known to break, break into people's cars. In fact, every year bears have broken into about 1,000 cars and caused half a million dollars of damage. And black bears just smash through the windows with their paws, even the, the front windows. And when a black bear smashes something with its front paw, the force of its paw hitting something is always a third of its body weight. That means a one-ton black bear can deliver a force of a third of a ton per square inch. The chances of getting killed by a bear are one in two million. That's pretty small. Compare that to the chances of getting killed or seriously injured by a car, which is one in 90, or the chances of drowning in a bathtub, which is one in 11,000, or the chance of getting struck by lightning, which is one in 40,000. Thanks for watching. See you next time again on Ben's Wild Adventure.